What is up everybody, man here, welcome back to the channel! I've had the pleasure to set some problems recently in this really cool boulder gym here, the Newton Kapfenberg. Thumbs up if you want to see me suffer on that kilter board, man. But yeah, we had some awesome problems coming out of those setting sessions and one of these is this white guy here, his estimated grade is 7a slash plus. Really cool, slopey, technical, slabby, vertical uh, stuff that we got going on here. Here you got a side uh, shot to see how the terrain actually plays out. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this problem in more detail because it shows, it demonstrates a couple of very nice technical details, really. In particular, when it comes to open doors, when it comes to barn doors, dropping versus flagging, and uh, yeah, momentum management and stuff like that. So here we got these really shallow slopers here. This is a kind of cone-shaped thing there. And we got the gray volume here. Great volumes are always included in that gym. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we, we probably have to balance our way up there um, until we reach this kind of weird top hold. It's kind of a down uh, facing sloper there again, kind of hard to hold. So the bowler lures you into this solution with this drop knee here at the beginning, first going into the cone shaped sloper, first grabbing it at a pinch and then moving more into a side pull position. Uh, it's also quite, quite tempting to go with the left hand first here, but then you have this kind of unconvenient foot switch that you have to do. So the coolest solution that I found for this problem is actually a flag. Going with a flag to the, to the left hold first, pinching that, and then you get into the side pull position right away and are able to pull yourself up onto this tiny little foothold here just above the starting hold. So let's take a look at that again in comparison. Much smoother solution, I think, here with the flag. The flag is always it's kind of a more not so obvious, but kind of a very often very paying off technique, I would say. Yeah, we gotta brush this cone uh, shaped hole here because it's actually very slopey, very bad. Getting the right foot up. And now we got this really interesting move here, having to, you know, bump kind of further into another side pull on this pyramid shaped gray uh, volume there. But the thing is, it's really important to have your uh, body positioning right before you do the dyno, actually. Another beautiful example of how body positioning plays into momentum management. If you can see the body axis here is much further away on the right side from the target hold. And that means that we're gonna get less swing once we actually grab the target hold here, as you can see. And because we have less swing, we're actually able to hold the target hold, yeah? Now we've got another move into another side pull up there. So it's really side pull heavy, this problem, which often produces nice techniques. We have to use the intermediate hold here on the gray sloper and then grab the side pull into this beautiful barn door. And managing that barn door is actually the crux of this whole problem. It took me quite a while actually to get this one done. I uh, couldn't even send it in the setting session, only afterwards. And that's why I had to get the camera out and actually film it. So look at the left leg here, how it's kind of ninja kicking its way up these side pulls. And then you get this beautiful barn door, which really pulls your right foot off that foothold if you don't step it correctly with proper stepping technique, as you can see here in this close up, yeah? So what we want to do is we step here with the toe tip instead of the, you know, the side angle of the, of the shoe. And that way we can kind of barn door our way over that foothold without slipping from it. Now we're getting into our, getting ourselves into this kind of side pull prison and we have to work our way up this side pull prison until the right foot becomes more of a positive foothold again and only now we're able to actually reach the top hold with one hand which takes quite a lot of weight off the right foot which is uh, quite tricky to not slip off here and we would get a barn door here again if we would just let go of the left hand so how do we prevent that? We obviously have to do the left heel hook here so that we can let go. I mean, there's just so many amazing technical details here. Let's put it all together. You're starting with the flag here at the start, left hand pinch, then going into the side pull position here, pulling our weight up onto this foothold just above the starting hold. Bang! Ninja kicking with left leg our way up that volume here and bang! Final grab of that uh, side pull. Man, it looks so easy if you um, yeah <laughs> manage to get it done correctly somewhat. Uh, and then working our way up this side pull prison and then grabbing finally the top hold left heel hook to ma make that one holdable. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this little boulder, uh, you know, close up, this little boulder spotlight, if you will. I plan to do this more often in the future. Let me know down below if you liked it. My friends, I'll see and hear you quite soon. Stay strong and free somewhere out there.